Hi, in this video we're going to be doing an IB Applications and Interpretation SL question, Paper 1, Time Zone 1 from May 2024. And the topic here is direct proportionality. <clears throat> Alright, so here we have um, this proportion that's described. It says an animal is directly, sorry, an animal's weight in or mass is directly proportional to the cube of its shoulder height. And so when you see that um, statement, it's telling you that the mass is going to be equal to some constant number that we don't know yet times the cube of the height. And so question A1 is really asking us, what is that constant number that we don't know yet? And it does give us some information to figure that out. It tells us the mass and the height, the shoulder height of a specific animal. So we can use that to figure out what A is. So the mass is 64, so I'm plugging that in for mass equals a and the height is 0.8 so 0.8 to the third and so that is 64 is equal to 0.5129 times a and so now we can go ahead and divide both sides of that equation that's an a right there by the way we can divide that by 0.5129 and 0.5129 and so we get that A, and let me write that A better, is equal to 125 when we do that division. And so now we actually have the A, and so we can finish up or complete that equation that we started here. And mass is equal to 125 H to the third. So I basically just wrote that again, but now we have the A value. All right, and so that is our equation for M in terms of H. Now part two asks us to find the mass of a different cheetah with a shoulder height of 0.75 meters. All right, so now we know the different cheetah has a height, shoulder height of 0.75 meters, and so we can plug that in. Mass is equal to 125 times 0 0.75 to the power of three. And that will give us that the mass is 52.7 kilograms. All right, so that is part A done. And now the next part of the question says that Rubner's law states that energy needs of an animal, E, is also directly proportional, but now to the square of the height. So I'm going to write that down just like we did in part A. We have now E is some other constant, I'll use B since we already used A, times H squared this time. All right, so now that we know that, it tells us that the energy needs of a lion, 220 kilograms, our K times the, ener the energy needs of a cheetah of 64 kilograms. All right, so we were talking about that 64 kilograms earlier. We found a lot of information about that 64 kilograms, but we don't know anything about this heavy lion right here. So we are going to need to find some information out about that guy right there. All right, so we're going to plug back into the original equation that we had, which is that M is equal to 125 h cube and we know that this heavy heavy lion here is 220 kilograms so we can find his shoulder height by solving for h there all right so we divide both sides by 125 and we get 1.76 is equal to h cube and then we cube root both sides and I'm going to actually pull up the calculator so you can see this happen. Hold on. All right, here we go. Pull this back up. All right, in order to find a cube root, um, so this is not the page I wanted. Let's, let's try this again. There we go. All right, so in order to find the cube root, there are a couple ways we can do this. We can either go to math and then scroll down to the fourth option here 
and then just type 1.76 and I'm working with the TI-84 right now and that tells us our cube root is 1.207 h equals 1.207 or we could have ris risen <laughs> rised frozen all right words not coming to me but we could rise that to the one-third power we could raise it there we go <laughs> raise to the one-third power and we would get the same thing by raising to the one-third power all right so that is the height but what do we do with that information so let's pull our question back up all right so now that we have the shoulder height of the lion we have let's call this height one and we're going to work with that with the energy equation we have here so energy of the first guy here equals b and height of the first guy which is 1.207 and when i say the first guy i'm talking about the big lion squared all right so energy one equals b times 1.207 squared which is 1.457 all right so that is our lion let me actually put l for lion all right now let's do the cheetah energy for the cheetah is equal to still b we don't know what b is and it actually doesn't matter times the cheetah's height or shoulder height which is 0 0.8 squared so the energy of the cheetah is equal to b times 0 0.64 now the question tells us that the ratio let's see where it says it it says the energy the energy needs of a lion mass this is k times the energy of the cheetah which is telling you that in order to figure out what k is we have to divide one energy by the other energy so the energy of the lion by the energy of the cheetah and the energy of the lion we don't have an exact number but we do have an expression and it's b times 1.457 and the energy of the cheetah similarly we don't have a number but we do have this expression fortunately that constant will cancel and we can just divide the numbers and we see that k is equal to 2.2 And we're done. All right, so that's it for question 10. Stay tuned as I keep working through the problems in this exam.